Sahih al-Bihari 36 narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet, said, The person who participates in holy battles in Allah's cause and nothing compels him to do so except belief in Allah and his apostles, will be recompensed by Allah either with a reward, or booty if he survives, or will be admitted to paradise if he is killed in the battle as a martyr. Had I not found it difficult for my followers, then I would not remain behind any Syria going for jihad, and I would have loved to be martyred in Allah's cause and then made alive, and then martyred and then made alive, and then again martyred in his cause. Sahih al-Bihari 37 narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, said, Whoever establishes prayers during the nights of Ramadan faithfully out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's rewards, not for showing off, all his past sins will be forgiven. Sahih al-Bihari 38 narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, said, Whoever observes fasts during the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's rewards, then all his past sins will be forgiven. Sahih al-Bihari 39 narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet, said, Religion is very easy, and whoever overburdens himself and his religion will not be able to continue in that way. So you should not be extremists, but try to be near to perfection and receive the good tidings that you will be rewarded, and gain strength by worshipping in the mornings, the afternoons, and during the last hours of the nights. See Fath al-Bari, page 102, vol 1. Sahih al-Bihari 40 narrated al-Bara bin Zib, when the Prophet came to Medina, he stayed first with his grandfathers or maternal uncles from Ansar. He offered his prayers facing Beit al Jerusalem, for 16 or 17 months, but he wished that he could pray facing the Kaaba at Mecca. The first prayer which he offered facing the Kaaba was the Asr prayer in the company of some people. Then one of those who had offered that prayer with him came out and passed by some people in the mosque who were bowing during their prayers, facing Jerusalem. He said addressing them, By Allah, I testify that I have prayed with Allah's Messenger, facing Mecca, Kaaba. Hearing that, those people changed their direction towards the Kaaba immediately. Jews and the people of the scriptures used to be pleased to see the Prophet, facing Jerusalem in prayers, but when he changed his direction towards the Kaaba, during the prayers, they disapproved of it. Al-Bara added, Before we changed our direction towards the Kaaba, Mecca, in prayers, some Muslims had died or had been killed and we did not know what to say about them regarding their prayers. Allah then revealed, And Allah would never make your faith, prayers, to be lost, that is the prayers of those Muslims who were valid. 2. 143